and it yeah. would get better. I think part of the problem was we had a um, a device that was not, you know, a research device. It was more of a, you know, a, a commercially available device. Uh, nonetheless, it's very expensive, and and we checked it because I was very curious about brain fog and memory loss, and you know, what did this mean from a was it something we could measure? And so you could measure it and show the activity was lower. So that's important. It did get better. It wasn't such a uh, big number that we could go, oh my gosh, if you do this, um, you'll get this much improvement. I mean, mm -hmm. um, I would always be happy to say that I was probably the only plastic surgeon in the United States who had their own EEG and was doing EEGs all the time. <laughs> Hilarious. But um, those things always, you know, I was curious about that. What, you know, what was brain fog in each situation? Because the first time I heard it, I, I didn't understand it. 